Yes, guys, the next question says when the switch S in the circuit shown is closed, then the value of current I will be. As you can see, there is current I1 coming in this direction, I2 coming in this direction, and adding to form I. And definitely that I can flow only if the switch is closed. So they mentioned that the switch is closed. Now if the switch is closed, can I say I1 plus I2 is equal to I. Now can I say I1 is the current flowing up through the 2 ohm resistance having a potential at point A and C something different which means there is a potential difference between A and C. So can I write I1 as V at A minus V at C upon R between AC. Similarly, can we write I2 as V at B minus V at C upon the resistance between B and C. And similarly, can we write I as V at C minus the ground potential which is 0 upon the R between C and ground. So basically I have represented all the three currents in the form of potential difference upon the resistance. Now we can just substitute the values. VA as we know it's 20 volt. VC is unknown. The resistance between A and C is 2 ohm. Plus VB is at 10 volt. Minus VC is unknown. The resistance between B and C is 4 ohm is equal to V and C unknown upon the resistance between C and ground is 2. So now if I multiply this by 4 throughout, I get 2 times 20 minus VC plus 10 minus VC is equal to 2 VC. I have multiplied the entire equation by 4. So now if I open the brackets, I get 40 minus 2 VC plus 10 minus Vc is equal to 2 Vc. So minus 2 Vc minus Vc goes over there becomes positive. So 2 plus 1 plus 2 gives you 5 times Vc. And 40 plus 10 is 50. So definitely Vc we can get as 10 volt. Now once we have got the value of potential at C, I can find the current I using this formula. So we know I is Vc minus 0 upon R between C and ground. So that is 10 minus 0 upon 2 and so our current I is 5 ampere and that will be your final.